All right, hey, we're back. We're calling some leads. I'm gonna do it on live on video. I got. I, I, I know you guys love when we do that. So hey, today we're gonna call Medicare leads. I think we've got about 22 of them freshly generated in our area in Missouri. I'm gonna call them right now. See if you can pick up some nuggets. All right, let's do it. Catherine. Yes. Hey, this is Cody. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new Medicare information. Uh, I'm, yes. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm the local field underwriter, and I'll be out in your area on Friday. Should I drop this information off in the morning or in the afternoon? Well, um, gee. Uh, can you just drop it off on the front porch? Well, we ha we have to actually uh, we have to actually spend a couple of minutes, make sure it's you, um, and ask a couple of questions real quick. Um, what what, what uh, while I've got you on the phone, what prompted you to uh, show interest? What what's got you concerned? Well, um, I'm so I'm actually in something else right now. It's really hard for me to focus on this. Gotcha, um, gotcha, gotcha. Well, why don't I do this? Um, is is Thursday or Friday better? Uh, neither. Okay. This week. Okay. Okay. Um, what what, what uh, I could they could have me out back out there Monday or Tuesday of next week. Is there? I'm what? headed out of town on Monday. Okay. What, really is, early. Cody, can you call me back in like thirty minutes? If you want to talk about this further, I've got something way bigger than this going on right now. Okay, perfect. I'll call you back right away in about thir okay. 30 minutes. Okay. Thank you. I hate that, but maybe she's not pulling my leg, Dylan, you know? Just maybe. Jim. Jim. I'm sorry. You have reached a number. I did some push-ups before I started this, you know? You know, sneaky key thing? 731-8369. This is Glenda. I'm sorry I can't take the call right now, but please. I recommend you normally leave a voicemail, but for the sake of time and the fact that I'm just dialing is like a madman, I am not going to. I also recommend you text, I recommend you email, I recommend you call uh, six times in the first 72 hours minimum, okay? And I recommend you follow up, right? But in this case, I'm gonna do at least a dial Hello. through. Miss Becky? Yes. Hey, this is Cody, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new Medicare information. Uh, that that was, it was just recently. I'm assuming you remember that. Yeah, I actually I don't usually talk because I, I have a voice now. I'm glad you said your name because you said on the voice note your name is Cody. Okay, perfect. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so I'm the local field underwriter, and I'll be out in your area on Friday. Is morning or afternoon better? Uh, afternoon are better for me. Okay, excellent. Uh, and you uh, absolutely. Uh, are you thinking like one o'clock or three o'clock? Uh, let's do three o'clock in case my daughter, for some reason, I have to drive her to work rather than her drive. And, and, and if I do that, she gets off at two, and I don't want to be interrupted. I don't know how long it takes, but sure. Yeah, it, it, it can. It really varies. It can be really quick, but yeah, um, good. That's good to know. And. Yeah. Are you still at? Yes. Okay. Excellent. All right. And now I, I need some help from you. Can you describe your house for me? What color is it? A house, apartment, a trailer? 
And it's a house. It's it was a rental. Okay. And uh, it's it's a house. yeah. What color is our house? Ann? Yeah, my landlord happens to be here, but I don't know what color. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, um. What do you want to say? Uh, the, the tin stuff. Like oh, like a. Uh, you you said tin. Mm-hmm. Like, like like metal. Yeah, metal. Yeah. Perfect. What color is the house? You know what you call her, you call it. Is it yellow? Tan. More tan. 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 Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. That's very helpful. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And, and it's a corner house. Corner. And you park behind. It's on the corner of. Park behind. Perfect. That's good to know. Thank you. Thank you very much. And 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 do you normally uh, write this uh, your your appointments down on like a piece of paper or a calendar or put them in your phone? Or? I usually do it on a calendar. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let me let me give you my name and the time again whenever you're ready. Okay. Let me saw the pen right here. It's the guy on my medical candy. Always be trying to refresh. How'd you get the pen to write? She needs a secure agent leads pen, okay. doesn't she? Okay. What day are we talking about? That Louis? was yes, ma'am. Friday at three o'clock. Okay. Oh my God! We haven't changed the Friday. Um, I don't even know what the date is. Oh, right that's now. in. That's the eleventh. The 11th, okay. Friday the 11th. Yeah. Okay, Cody. Yep. Co- at 3 o'clock? That's it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then uh, this is um, part C, are we talking about? Well, yeah, it, it, it'll be whatever you'd like to talk about. I'll bring some information and I'll answer any questions you would like, okay? I, you know, I, I have stuff going already, and I tell you, I don't know what to do because I changed companies. And uh, the end of January, I called my one, or I told them to stop my stuff on January 31st, and because I didn't want to double take it out on the first, mm. it was a new company. And uh, believe it or not, I ended up having to go to the emergency room, and I'm out six thousand dollars. Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear that. One day, I did not have insurance oh my gosh well, that, hurts. <laughs> that really hurts well i'm going to make sure that yeah. that never happens again i'm so sorry to hear that well you know i i, and I don't know how you do it to transfer it it almost seems like you've got to have that one day of, you know but we'll talk about that when you get here perfect yeah. i hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you friday at three okay okay Sounds thank you good. becky right. bye-bye okay. so difficult hey she requests information. They sent it to me. I called her. I think I could have said anything I wanted to and probably still got the appointment. So yeah, I can, you know, we, we can say, hey, Cody's great on the phone. Anyone that has an insurance license could have set that appointment. That's, that's just true, okay? All right, one down, a few to go. Let's do it. And now, Dylan, I even think I'm out of practice, bro. I think I'm losing touch, you know? I could, I, you know, I, Hello? Hello, Denise. Yes. Hey, this is Cody. How are you today? Well, not too good, but other than that, I'm alive. Well, okay. Well, well, good. Uh, my name is Cody, and I'm getting back to you about your request for the new Medicare information. Um, I'm assuming you remember doing that recently, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I got a question first. P- please, please. I have Tricare for Life through the military, and mm. we were told that if we ever change, we lose our Tricare. Absolutely. Yeah. So no. So 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 Tricare is uh, is phenomenal coverage. Um, have you ever had? Well, tell me this, Denise. How how old are you? What? 
What what's your age? Oh. Um just a few months from being eighty. Okay, and have you ever ever had anything other than Tricare? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that I would uh I don't know that I would I would do anything. Um you know, I, I, I don't, I don't, I mean, you, you could always talk to a Medicare specialist just to be sure, but in your case, um, you've got, you know, you, you've always had amazing coverage. You've probably never had to pay anything and, and, and you got that because, you know, someone in the family was probably um, in, in the service. So, so thank you for that. Yeah, my husband will be 80 next month and uh, he retired from the Coast Guard. Wow, that's awesome. One of my, one of my good buddies is in the Coast Guard currently, so. I have a ton of respect for the military, so tell them thank you for your service. What would and you? And I was just looking it up to see what, like they offer dental, which the military doesn't get sponsors. Oh well, but that, I've had all my teeth pulled now, so. Well, there there is, if it doesn't cover dental, um, there are options um, that that I we, we could at least have someone you know, to talk to you about if you would like. Well, when the, when the our services uh, uh, gave them, uh, my husband had, he's already had his people. Okay. And you can't get the, I couldn't get them unless he got it also. Gotcha. Gotcha, but 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 you 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 haven't had your teeth pulled and you're needing d- yeah, dental. Yeah, I've had mine pulled now. You have. Yeah, but you There's had a half inch bone on uh, your jaw bone okay. that holds the roots of your teeth, and I have deteriorating bones, and my jaw those parts of your jaw bone have deteriorated. Okay. Would you like for me to have someone call you back and talk to you about dental, or, or no? No, because um, I don't want to lose track here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, perfect. Absolutely, no. Anything, even even a conversation, or any, if, if, even if you're able to get dental in any way, you definitely wouldn't lose track here, and you definitely don't want to. I, I honestly think you're, uh, I think you're perfectly set, you know. I'm, I'm, uh... Thank, thank you guys for the service, and I wish you a, a phenomenal rest of your day, okay? Right, and I just wanted to see what, how uh, Trump has changed things. Gotcha, gotcha. For the better, I hope. Well, we, we all hope for better, always, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. yeah, well, uh, I will look into that, and if we need to call you back, we will, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, Denise. Have a great day. You also. Yes, bye-bye. Denise. Bye-bye. Great lead. She has interest. There's just nothing you can do, you know, which is like every lead that we've talked to have been like has been super receptive. It's been, and that may not always be the case. we still got more to call. But in general, it's been, you know, it's been a, uh, and I don't even know a ton about, I, there's people that know a lot more about Medicare than me. I just know I can set appointments for it. And I know that. Hello. Mr. Ricky. Yeah. Hey, this is Cody. How are you, sir? Okay, how are you? Doing good. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new Medicare information. I'm assuming you remember doing that recently? Vaguely, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm the local field underwriter. Uh, and I will be out in the Ozark area on Friday. Is mornings or afternoons typically better for you, sir? Uh, probably. Well, can you give me a little bit of information about what it is? Yeah, so, so this, this, this was about uh, the Medicare changes for 2020, and I just want to make sure we brought some, that we brought over some information, dropped that off, and answered any questions that you may have. Because right now I'm uh, uh, I'm on Medicaid because I was in a severe accident in the hospital for six uh, months. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry to hear so, that. So yeah, I got ran over by two cars. Oh my gosh! Wow. Well, you you, you sound and, uh, you sound amazing, and I apologize that happened. Yeah. 
but I don't. I, I need to talk to Social Security because I'm still right now on Medicaid, so yep. I don't know. Did you? Uh, are, are are you? What what's what's your current age? Yeah, fifty five. Fifty five. Yeah. Okay. And are, and are you on Medicare? Or Medicare disability no, Medicaid. or anything? I'm on Medicaid. Medicaid. Okay. I was told I was told once I got my disability that I would they they would put me on Medicaid Medicare. That's so yeah. I don't know. Right, right. Exactly. Uh well why don't I uh why don't I at least have someone drop off information and answer a couple questions and, and, and see if they can help? Okay. Is works. Friday at at uh, two at two o'clock okay? Yeah, that works. Okay. And are you still at? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yep. And is it a house, a apartment, a trailer? It's a house. Okay. And what uh, what color is it, sir? It's white with the green uh, shutters and all that. White house. Kind of thing. Perfect. Okay. And uh, how do you typically remember your appointments? Do you write them down or put them in a calendar? Or? I used to just write them down. Okay. Um, I can give you my name and then and the information again if you'd like to write stuff down, unless you already have. Okay. You, you, tell me when you're ready. Okay, perfect. Uh, Friday at 2, and my name is Cody, C-O-D-Y. Okay. Okay. Sound, right. Sounds great. Well, thank you for your time. Have a great evening, and we'll see you Friday at 2. Okay. All right. Bye. Thanks, Ricky. Bye-bye. You Dude, Medicare leads are easier. <laughs> if someone's not making, like... I don't know how you can't make six figures renewal income if you just bought the Medicare leads and Secure Agent leads, you know? You know what I'm saying, Sneaky Keithy? Mm -hmm. Three, seven, five. And for those that are watching and wondering, and you're like, hey, you know what? I wonder if they'll do like a crazy big deal. If you mention the video, the live dial Medicare lead video, and you want to buy a bunch for AEP, we have a special secret deal that I will have my team honor and do for you, okay? Hello. Hello, Pat. Yes. Hey, this is Cody. How are you today? I'm okay. Well, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new Medicare information. I'm assuming that you remember doing that recently. Yeah, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm just going to stay with what I have. That's perfect. What, what, what do you currently have? I have Aetna. Aetna, okay. And, and did you have someone uh, evaluate your prescriptions and look at all the options for 2020 yet? Uh, no, I have not. Well, I... But they I, have always been so good to me and honest, and I get a discount. Well, that's good. Because of my income. So, I don't want to mess all that up. Yeah, and I, I definitely wouldn't want to either if I was you. M may I tell you one thing real quick? We had one, yeah. we had one lady in our office yesterday, and she was paying um, for one of her drugs, and her total drugs was, you know, a couple hundred dollars a year. It was pretty low, but she didn't realize that the company she was with, and it may have been the company you have, I'm not sure, um, the tier changed on one of her drugs and it was going to go to $900 a year, but she wasn't aware of it. And so I would at least like to drop off a little information and answer any questions just to make sure, and I'm not here to change anything, but just to make sure that you 100% know that it's best and everything's going to stay as is. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Perfect. Perfect. Are, are you still at... Yes. Okay. Yes. I am, uh, I'm putting my job down tomorrow, 14 years old. I have my grandson today with me. He's four and a half. So wow, that's, that's exciting. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm actually am too. I apologize. I wouldn't be able to get out there today. The earliest I could get out there would probably be Friday. Is morning or afternoon better? I will call coming free myself. Yeah. You know, and find out changes. Well, w w or we could schedule. And I also have an agent. Absolutely. Not studying that. Would you like. Yeah. Would you like for us to schedule a time for you to just talk to someone over the phone? Because th that we can do that if you would prefer that. Uh, no, I'm just going to leave it. I don't think the changes are going to be that much. Now, are they? Well, be honest it, with me and tell me. To absolutely. I totally will be honest with you. It, it, it really varies by the prescription drugs and by the network it really varies and depends on each individual situation some some clients we tell them hey you need to stay exactly where you are i wouldn't change a thing and then there's some that thought they should stay and then they find out later that they shouldn't have stayed and it cost them hundreds of dollars sometimes thousands of dollars so i would be i would be lying if i knew what was best for you at this point it would really take scheduling a time, asking a couple of quick questions, and then we could know within a matter of minutes. I just don't have time to do that right now. So that's why... Okay, Friday would probably... I've got to go to the grocery store Friday, but Friday afternoon sometime. Okay, maybe uh, like f 4 o'clock? Yeah, that would probably work. Okay, and I'll, I'll make sure that we bring that information to show you, too, now, okay? you're going to call on the phone, correct? Well, if, you, if you would prefer phone. that, if you would prefer that, we will 100% yes, do that. I would. Perfect, you got I it. I would, because I live alone, my husband's deceased. I Sorry to hear that. You know, I just I, prefer to do it over the phone. Yep, whatever you prefer is perfect. We will 100 we will not show up. We will simply just call Friday at 4 o'clock, okay? That would be wonderful. Y you got it. I'm just here to help in any way we can. Is this the right number to call on Friday at 4? Yes, sir. Okay, will you do me a favor? Can you write this down or put this on a calendar for me? Yeah, I've got paper right here in front yes. of me. So okay, Friday I at 4. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's my panel right there. Yep. Fr and then I'll take it in and put it on the calendar. Friday at four. Yep, that's perfect. My, my name, my name is Cody. It may, it, yeah. it may be it may be one of my agents that calls, but he'll. Is it K O D Y? It's C O D Y. C O D Y. Okay, I, I think that's I, what I had down. Okay, I good, good. I, which what? which way did you want me to spell it? Oh, I don't care. I had C O D Y. Perfect, yeah. perfect. That's exactly what yeah. it is. That's exactly what it is. Well, okay. Pat, you've and been his very. Last name was what? Askins. A S K I N S. Yep, like asking with an S instead of a G. Yeah. Gotcha. Perfect. Gotcha. Most people misspell okay. it, so you're doing good. I got you down. What time Friday again? Friday at four. Perfect. Friday at four. Awesome. Well, you've been very sweet, Pat. I appreciate your time, and we will definitely only call Friday at four, okay? Okay. I appreciate that. You... I just hate to be hounded by. I get calls from Russia, from India. You know, yep. you know no one in those places. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm, 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 I'm going to be, I'm actually in Springfield, Missouri, but I'm still going to call. Okay. I see. Well, yeah, this isn't a good week at all. Yeah. Not with my grandson and my dog. And yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, 14 years and got him when he was six weeks old. So. Oh my goodness.
I'm so sorry to hear that. That he has two tumors on his trachea plus his atrophied. And he coughs and coughs until he spits up all over my carpet, so I have to continuously clean it. And I am disabled. Oh, no. Which makes it terribly hard. Yes, ma'am. I can understand okay. that. Well, you. And it's breaking my heart to do it to him. I just I'm... feel so guilty. Yeah, I'm really, really sorry to hear that. I really am. I, I will, uh, I will, I will keep you in my prayers. I apologize, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay. Do you have an animal? I do. I do. Okay. So you know how they become part of a family. They do. My, my, my wife. After 14 years. My wife would be. My wife would be uh, very, very sad. So I. I don't know what you're going through, but I'm sorry that you are. What kind do you have? It's a little Maltese Bashan. Maltese? That, if I was going to get another job, that is exactly what I would have because they do not shed. Exactly, they don't. Yeah, they're a great dog. Yeah, w yeah w Winnie, see, Winnie listens. My palm has an undercoat. Oh. So he sheds bad plus his teeth are rotting, we and Andy his breath is my, uh, battery pack down, and cord. but they cannot intubate him to do a thorough cleaning and the work that needs to be done. Mm. So, and they put him to sleep where I take my animals, you know, well, most places do, actually. Yeah. Whenever they do a thorough cleaning of teeth, but yeah, no way. I'm just, uh, I'm dreading tomorrow something ferociously. See, this was actually my husband's job. Mm. The day before my husband died and the day he died, he was in the hospital bed in the living room with my husband the whole time. So, you know, I think they sense it, you know, that yeah. they're going downhill. But he laid by the back door from the garage for hours and hours waiting on my husband to come in because that's the way he always came in. And that right. just broke my heart. You know, well, plus I was mourning. My sister died in January of 15, my husband in March of 15. Well, I'm, so, I'm very sorry to hear that as well. I really am. Hey, I've, uh, I, I wish you the yeah, very, I, I wish you the very best. I have to run. I apologize, but I will call Friday at four. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you, sweetheart. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, so the verdict, um, that's still solid. It's local. You get to, like, somebody gets to talk to over the phone and run prescriptions and see if they can help her. Like, if you're in med the Medicare space, you get that that is, like, quality. That is awesome. Um, we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leads so far we've spoke to five and we've set three how does someone not make money with these dylan that's insane to me that is 100 percent insane how long have i been going about 30 minutes oh my gosh i'm phone with her for longer than i thought okay uh we still on okay all right, uh, well, I'm going to call some more again, but I ran out of time today talking to Pat. Uh, so the, the moral of the story, these are all local leads. I'm not, you know, they're not voodoo magic leads. They're freaking seven leads of people that responded to one of our ads locally and said, hey, I would like more information about Medicare. And I'm reading the script that we put in our 
four page little deal where we give information, our little our four page leads guide. Um, I've I, there's 22 on this list. I've only got to seven because I've got a meeting in four minutes. Um, at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep calling more. I'm gonna keep doing this all the time. I love doing it. I'm gonna keep showing you that hey, if you just freaking work, if you pick up the phone, like if you try. If you invest in leads without leads, an agent is unemployed, then hey, guess what? You'll make some sales, you'll make some money, you'll have some success, and you will not fail. 92% of agents fail, and most of them are scared to pick up the phone. That is the easy, those were the easiest calls in the world, and nobody called them before me. They fill out a form saying, I wanna talk to you. So I called them, right? So I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna do a special. I'm gonna do a special. If anybody will buy, somewhere between 50 and 250 leads. I'm gonna tell my guys right now a crazy special that you can get for during AEP. So I'm gonna call more of these later. Dylan, let's get, let's get something on the calendar in the next couple days for me to get back on this um, and make more calls. Maybe it's Monday or whatever, but uh, seven leads so far. Spoke to five, set three, and one I'm supposed to call back. So I may get four. Like I talk about how you should get a 40 to 60% appointment set ratio and I just did, right? And it's one call, two I haven't even got a hold of yet. I could call back again. I can probably set five out of seven and I'm not texting yet. I'm not emailing yet. I'm not even leaving voicemails. I haven't door knocked. Like I haven't called six times. So I'm telling you, these are the easiest things in the world to make money from. So thanks for watching Phone Phenom. Go buy some leads.